What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now this video is a continuation of our series uh, as to what resources and what advice do I have for specific medical school courses that you'll take. At this point we've already covered physio, we've covered anatomy, we've covered histo, we've covered biochem. What's the next one? Who would have thought this class was interesting? Neuroanatomy or neuroscience, which call it neuroscience because it includes neuroanatomy. So neuroscience, uh, at my school we take it during the first year, some schools take it during the second year, it doesn't matter, just take it. Um, but it's a fun course, it's, the, it's really the only time, because uh, in anatomy they don't touch any kind of neuroanatomy. At my school they leave it all for the neuroscience people. And it's a fun course because you get to learn the anatomy of the brain, and you're, you already study the microanatomy and histos, so that's already fun, and then you get to study pathology, well not really pathology, but how the brain works, how the central nervous system works, how you know the various tracks in your spine work. It's fun. So, like all these things, I mean, hopefully this is getting boring now to hear. The very first thing you need to do is learn your lecture notes, your core notes, whatever the, the professor gives you. Learn those first. Get them out of the way. Get yourself doing well on your school exams. And that's number one. So then you're thinking, okay, but what if the professor is not just giving me high yield material? Excellent question you ask. That's kind of the key to all these videos, that you need some kind of board review book to study with the class so that at the end of the day you have a single condensed high yield packet of information, i.e. the board review book, that you use come time to study for the final, study for the shelf, study for a step, whatever. Now for neuroscience, I, I got lucky with good luck, really good lectures, and um, I had a lot of fun in neuroscience. Um, fun course, very easy to forget the information ironically, um, but it was a very fun course, good lecture notes. We had a textbook they gave us on our iPads. I didn't like it. I thought it was poorly written, so I'm not going to recommend it. I'm not even going to tell you who wrote it because I don't want to disrespect the person. But what did I use? I used my core notes primarily because it was great, and I supplemented and took notes in my um, review book. So. This is a different many facts. So if you looked at uh, Histo and Physio, that was BRS book that I use. For Biochem, I use Rapid Review. And then for Neurosci, this is everyone likes this book, High Yield uh, Neuroanatomy. This title really gets to the point of what I try to emphasize with all these books, that it's high yield info, right? Now, how big, again, this book's kind of the size of my face. I don't know why they keep doing that. Uh, but look how tiny it is. This is tiny. Look at this. Here's my hand. Look, here's my thumb, right? Tiny. Can you see this? I don't know. Here we go. Tiny, right? So is, is that all we know about neuroscience? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully neuroscience is not this much in the dark ages. But um, it's a good book. It's very, very just distilled down. Can you open this up and learn neuroscience? I do not think so. because uh, I really don't think you can. I mean, because I, I tried starting this with the class material, and if and this is fun. I mean, look, they actually have cross sections of brains and drawings. It's so nice. Um, so, but it's really just bare bones. If you don't know any of your neuroscience, you're gonna have a horrible day. Um, or <laughs> it's it's gonna be just pure memorization, and I kind of get the whole picture. So, study this with the course, so you can take your notes in it. And that's kind of the point I make with all these videos. That if you're studying the lecture notes, or you're studying with the textbook, or whatever you have, and you're understanding the concepts, then you can go through this, annotate what you like, and then once you're done with the course and you're reviewing for a shelf or the step or a final, you can just refer to this book as your source. You don't have to go through all the notes and through all the textbooks because one that's filtered, that's just littered with low yield material, and um, that's my cat, yes, uh, <laughs> and it's just literally it's littered with low yield material, and you don't have that much time to go through it. So here's, as the title of this book company goes, high yield, but it really is high yield. And I think it's a good book. Why do I have so many brands? You know, for Histo and Physio, I had BRS, and then for Biochem, and you'll see for Path, I have Rapid Review, and here I have High Yield. I don't know how this works out. I mean, a lot of this is just recommendations from people and me checking a few of them out and seeing what I like. This is my distribution. This is what I ended up using, um, and I like it. Um, but that's the key. Find what you like and stick with it. What's the key to that? Stick with it, man! Stick with what you like. If you keep changing it, oh, oh yeah, you missed the whole boat. You missed the point. The point is you pick one, you stick with it, and that's the end. So when it comes back, you're comfortable with the book, you know the book, you know you've seen you know, you cuddle with the book, and you're good to go with it. So that's my advice when it comes to neurosci. It's not a super I was terrified of the course. I'm like, the brain, I have no idea what's going on in there. I still kind of don't. But um, no, it's not that bad of a course. It's really fun. It's very cool pathology. Everything's interesting in neurosci. It's like the cool course to take. Um, and so you'll love it. 
and take it seriously because it's so cool, man. I mean, if you see a patient who actually has a deficiency or pathology of the brain, it's going to be really fun to diagnose. Um, hopefully, you know, people don't get sick, but you get the point. It's pretty interesting. Um, so here's my neuroscience. I know this is a short video. I'm sorry. Straight to the point. One book, real tiny, study the core notes, nothing special with learning. Ah, one point, just like histo. You have to know your slides. And what's the worst of this one? Oh, I'm sorry. They're going to do like these cuts of the actual brain. It's like a you, it's like they, they take a brain, they put it in formaldehyde, they preserve it, and then they do cuts, and they point to stuff. Well, I, let me see if I can bring, bring one up for you here. Um, uh, okay, here you go. So here's a cut of an actual brain, and then here's like a drawing the book makes to help you understand. But So on the exams, completely fair for them just to point to any little structure and say, what's this, or ask a secondary tertiary question. So just like histo, where you had to look at slides and be able to identify the structures you're looking at, for neuroscience, you have to be able to understand, this is kind of obvious, but you have to know your anatomy of your brain, but also on kind of these histo slide fashions of um, being able to identify. That's kind of the one kicker for this class. It's not just pure book knowledge. You have to know your structures. And it's, and it's actually a really critical part. So don't let that down. Keep it up. Um, what source can you use? Just actually for histo, I use histo time, but there's a free one I told you about. For, for uh, neuroscience, there's also a free one you can search on. It's like a neuroscience atlas. But just get the atlas, look at it, and figure it out. Uh, you just need to be able to memorize what all the structures are. Very much like anatomy or histo, nothing special. But this, neuroscience, histo and anatomy, you got to know your structures. It's money. Don't, don't forget that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I try keeping these straightforward and quick, no long videos. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment below. And it, uh, what is it? Message me. I don't know. Whatever YouTube does, do it. And I'll somehow figure out what you were trying to say. And as always, guys, enjoy your videos. Wait, no, that's not my line. Oh, man, I'm getting tired. And as always, enjoy your studies. Sorry, guys.